serve our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Bless you. <laughs> Yes. I don't know if you know that or not, but the stuff in your head, that might fall out. But the body hair, it's going to be like it is or worse. 
going forward. And that's still leaving in a bald spot in the movie back. But I'm, you know, whatever, later on. Like it happens. Just gonna keep filling in. And so, um, recently, instead of getting a belly button ring, I just got a scrunchy. You wanna organize it, guys? I think it's uh, that's they just what they did when they were this is what Mark said whenever they were uh, they were cleaning up in here that's like the asbestos and they just filled it so uh, keep that in mind as you're breathing in deeply that, uh, it's like a live shot of uh, the asbestos coming down but anyway let's get back to the jokes so uh, as I mentioned about the uh, the hairy the stomach. They, um, here's what happened to me, and I'm surprised I wasn't mentioned my uh, introductory uh, statements that uh, I, uh, about five months ago, six months ago, I had my appendix out. You guys hear about that? Pretty big deal. Yeah, I know. I got all quiet here because you guys also realized, wow, this guy had major surgery six months ago, and he's up there telling jokes tonight. Just incredible. And, uh, and uh, the, word, the word courageous, but I don't know what comes to mind, but uh, hero gets thrown around quite a bit. Really like the neighbors, but. So here's what happened, is I had like a stomach pain, it's really bad, and I was like, man, I must have tweaked a muscle in my stomach, and then I realized I don't have muscles in my stomach. I don't even think that's a real thing, and so I just, just ignored it, and uh, let it go. And after a couple of days, it was getting worse, and I'm like, wow, there's no way this would do crunches three years ago. This has got to be something more recent, so. Went to the doctor, and some people play doctors on the line to make it plural, it's just the one guy, and he said, uh, yeah, he got appendicitis, he did surgery. They did surgery that day, two hour surgery, about an hour and a half that was shave time, but still, <laughs> two hours total. Two hours total. And by the way, they did like a, uh, they gave me a two hour doctor rate instead of an hour and a half supercut rate, and in the last 30 minutes. Yeah, and they did like a, a real supercut job. I don't know if you've had this done, but they just they shaved a bald circle right here. Just a circle, they didn't blend it in with the rest of it, or fade it up to the side, or you know, a couple stripes like a Michael Urban. They just put a straight bald spot. So all summer long, I had to grow this part out and comb it over. Just so I could So anyway, that was my, uh, as I mentioned, my little town I grew up in. I'll also see my uh, grandmother, who I'm excited to see. Uh, she is now 95 years old. Thank you. Thanks for that. Sure, you can, you can applaud if you want. She would never hear that, but thank you. Uh, that's good. No, I know. She's, we love her. We, we really do. But we always say that she's like, she's like fine wine. She really should be kept in the cellar. At this point, we don't know. Uh, oh, we're sad about it. Okay, that's, that's a joke, guys. Yeah, people. I mean, sort of, like we, honestly, stick a fork in her, we're tired of hearing the same story, but we love her, we love her, and uh, she's, I love her, and she, I see her uh, during the summer, I see her during the holidays, and she always asks the same gift, I'm like, yeah, that's her sort of grandma, she's always calling up there with the family, begging us to give her a flu shot, and uh, like every year, she can't think of a new thing to ask for, it's like ridiculous, do some brainstorming, so, um, we usually switch it up on our own. We don't get one every year. You know, like one year a swiffer or whatever, something. She can use some new tennis balls for her walker. Yeah. The other ones are starting to wear out, so we like to get her some traction. So when she comes to the kitchen all fast, uh, she can stop before she gets to the dishwasher. So. Stop that thing. And so uh, it's the way she rolls. And so we have, uh, and then we'll get her, you know, gift certificates to really, really old Navy. And just fun stuff. You know, something from Forever 81, because uh, she likes to feel pretty. She likes to feel pretty. She can't see herself, so you might as well feel that. So. 
We had a big 90th birthday party, let's say five years ago, if you did math on the numbers guy, but uh, pretty big deal. We're trying to figure out what to do for someone who's 90. You can't do normal birthday stuff. You can't get a blow up bouncy castle in the front yard for grandma, because she can never get out of there. And so, less of her was like 86. Yeah, yeah, deflate the thing and plastic and her skin was basic. Didn't matter. So, uh, elasticity. Uh, is the word of that day. So, uh, anyway, we're trying to what can we do? Let's get a pinata for the stool softener or something. Fun. Right? That's been fun. We can all enjoy. Maybe the heart surgeon to jump out of a cake. <laughs> that way he'd be there when she was surprised because honestly, you're going to need a backup plan at that point. So, we got. <laughs> We did this, we, one year we got a uh, President Grover Cleveland impersonator, which was a huge hit. Uh, that guy was incredible. He was there for two non-consecutive hours, so really authentic, guys. It's not like I didn't look that joke out, but it's a pretty good joke. Now I'll do this other. So, I know I can go on and on and on, but I'm not going to. I'm supposed to get out of here with me. In my background, this is a regular grandma. I get that. My grandma's just like your grandma. She puts her bra on one leg at a time. She's no different. Oh, we got quiet now. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're so offended by that. It's for the long. If you're back, I got to say it. All right, we got a lot more to go for. I, I'm going to come back up here and tell you like two or three more jokes and you can boot me. So uh, that's it for me. Thank you very much. And we're going to bring out.
uh, realize Joey was wearing a tux. It's always nice to come back to Joey. And uh, it's always nice to tell jokes when I'm kind of just a tiny bit funny after Chris Voff, which is great. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah. And I get to make an announcement about money, so this is fantastic. <laughs> No, seriously, uh, some of you were here in the service this morning. Anybody here this morning? We had a fantastic service. Um, we got to hear Rachel McCarrick preach. We got to hear a little bit of a choir, to us. Um, and I made a little bit of a teaser about my heart was really full um, this week. And um, if you can talk with Mark or I don't know, Jenny or Megan or others, um, they can tell you about all the tears and everything that I had related to a really fantastic story that I got to, uh, to hear about this week. Um, and then you're going to have to wait until Mark tells a story later tonight to understand why, why I'm, uh, I was just a little bit um, moved by the story. But it really is good, so I'm glad you all are here and we could uh, have a night like that tonight. So um, I do want to honestly make a quick announcement about anybody who is interested in uh, giving for your end. Um, for folks who take this time and they think about um, causes that are worthy, when they think about places that they want to see continue, when they think about missions that are worth supporting, I'll just say for me, I can't think of one that is uh, greater in my heart than Highlands Church. I can't. I really can't. Um, it's uh, every point in time that I turn through my week. Uh, if it's with my deepen group, um, we've got some deepen groupers out there on this weekend. It's in the or whether it's coming to leadership council, we got some leadership council people here. Come on, okay, thank you. Um, or whether it's just coming on a service and uh, we're getting a reminder um, that there are bigger things in the world and that I'm part of a, a community uh, that is about redemption. Um, that's important for me, and it's important for all of us. It's important for us to be able to keep these doors open and keep the opportunity for people to hear that message. So if you're at all considering, we'd love for you to consider it. This is it. I'm done. Short and sweet. There will be uh, boxes at the end if you brought something with you tonight, but please just consider it, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of this evening. Amen. Uh, one other quick thing, I'm going to make an announcement to uh, introduce uh, the Ernest Tub of Highlands Church, the Johnny Cash of Highlands Church. Um, if, you, if country music is at all here, Hearts, um, Elvis Presley, and the others come to mind. Uh, I get to introduce Kyle Kaiser. 